frightening discovery for Norfolk family. They came home to find two men and a woman burglarizing their home. Now, the homeowner's able to chase them out. You'd think that would make the investigation difficult, but only on 10. Andy Fox with a piece of the puzzle that was exactly what police needed. Andy? Yeah, exactly. Video and 10 on your side want you to take a real good look at what we're about to show you. The three burglars got into the house through an unlocked back window. Homeowner Ryan Wilkie says police got good palm prints off the window and a TV. Saw a shadow movement in that area, uh, area. so I, I yelled inside. I said, hey, anybody in there? Anybody was in there in Ryan Wilkie's home, believed to be this guy. Guy. Got him, says Nathan Johnson, who lives next door to Wilkie and has three surveillance cameras outside his house. And these pictures are good enough that anyone out there should see these people can recognize them. 1245 Friday afternoon, a great colored Pontiac pulls up. These two men walk to the house, caught on two different cameras. Then this woman shows up, all three inside the house about 30 minutes. Then homeowner Ryan Wilkie shows up, opens the door and sees that shadowy figure. I yelled inside. I said, hey, anybody in there? And at that point, another man came running down the stairs. He came over here and ran out the back door. Um, at this point, I chased him. Uh, the young man jumped the fence over here. And uh, he was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. From what I remember, he had a box haircut. Wilkie runs back to the front of the house. And at this point, I noticed that a young woman came down the stairs. I didn't, had no idea she was up there. She came running downstairs with a pink Adidas bag, a duffel bag. And she, she said to me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. She started running for the back door. The female suspect left the house a lot faster than how she arrived. What do you want Wavy to do? I want to put, put the pictures of these people out there. We're just not going to take it sitting down. Because it seems like the criminals have the upper hand out here. Is that why you call 10 on your side? Yeah, to give us an upper hand. And really, we just want to see that this doesn't happen to anybody else. Ryan Wilkie says the burglars got away with a 40 caliber Smith and Wesson and jewelry that was in that duffel bag. If you know who these people are and someone out there does, please call police. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.